It's not every day that you get to step out, dressed to the nines for an evening of unabashed glamour filled with dining and dancing. But on a Cunard voyage, royal nights allow you to do just that. There's a lot of people who come on board the Queen Mary 2 purely to dance. And the balls, I mean, anytime you can come to like the black and white ball or the masquerade ball, that's something that the other ships you just don't see. The ship fills with a wonderful camaraderie as guests begin to gather, perhaps for a cocktail or champagne toast before dinner. Each evening, the magnificent Queen's Room is transformed as guests take to the dance floor, donning their finest attire to swing, sway, and whirl to the sounds of the live orchestra wonderful opportunity to dress up and have fun and, and have an evening of fantasy. I think when you're having a special occasion in your life, you like to dress up and have, make it a special event. Gentlemen feel handsome, ladies feel elegant on formal nights. Guests are swept along by the elegant splendor of the Royal Knights, for which Cunard has been famous through the decades. Dancing is a very much of a cornerstone of what we provide at Cunard. Our guests come to our ballrooms to enjoy the dancing to our wonderful orchestras. Because of the formal nights, they go and get their beautiful gowns, they love to wear them, and, it, and it's just a, a nice atmosphere around the ship and a very traditional atmosphere as well. And there's no shortage of opportunities to take to the dance floor. The first being the black and white ball. A fabulous black and white ball we have on uh, every first formal night of every voyage. A Cunard tradition that we love to uphold uh, right here in the Queen's Room. And there is Big Band Night where Cunard presents the largest orchestra at sea. <laughs> Great evening. We uh, combine the Royal Court Theatre Orchestra with the resident Queen's Room Orchestra here, and it's a 13 piece band. The singer comes along as well, so that's 14 people actually. And it's just Glenn Miller, Tommy Dorsey, Harry James, uh, Vera Lynn. Uh, they, all the wonderful music that everybody loves, so that's a great, great night. Other royal nights which are chosen based on itinerary include the hat-themed Royal Ascot Ball and the traditional Masquerade Ball. Which is, of course, also very elegant. Uh, you wear your masks. We have masks for sale on board as well, but a lot of people bring their own masks, great masks from home, and some people, sometimes you'll find the Phantom of the Opera or Lone Ranger or something. In the Queen's Room, guests can prepare to dance the night away by taking professional dance lessons during the day and learn the salsa, cha-cha and waltz. For ladies needing a dance partner, Cunard's gentlemen dance hosts are ready to dance the night away. We're very proud to still maintain the tradition of gentlemen hosts on board our ships and this gives our single ladies an opportunity to enjoy dancing as well. And indeed for couples who maybe the gentleman doesn't dance but the lady would like to dance. And with the creation of such a magical atmosphere, it's no wonder that sometimes our guests are swept away with the romance of it all. When we first met, we met on Queen Elizabeth II. We met on board the QE2. We met on the dance floor. I asked her to dance. And I met my future husband on the dance floor in the Queen's room. We were married in Sydney. I think he heard me say, wish I could dance like that. And he said, let me show you how. QE2, Cunard, now Queen Victoria, is part of our, part of us. And next year, the Queen Elizabeth. And next year, the Queen Elizabeth. We're booked already. For Cunard Royal Knights, celebrating the new golden age of ocean travel aboard the most famous ocean liners in the world.